from coast to coast and around the world, it's time to praise the Lord. The Lord covers the major Christian events in America and across the world from the heart of Europe. To the tip of Africa. From the centers of Asia. and South America. You're a part of the world's largest prayer and praise gathering. Join us on Praise the Lord from the great Chicagoland area as we bring you anointed pastors, evangelists, teachers, authors, and other special guests with testimonies and teaching to encourage and inspire music to glorify God as we lift up Jesus Christ as Lord. I'm Pastor John White, Senior and Founding Pastor of the Dominion Christian Center in Rockford, Illinois. It is a joy to be with you today. And there is an exciting word from God for you that's going to bless your heart. I also have an exciting guest that's going to really help you to be inspired on how to live your dream, rising above whatever circumstance in life you may face. Well, I have a very special guest today that I'm just anxious to get uh, released to you so you can meet her and hear her life and let it bless you. And uh, she's a, 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 an actress, a singer, and she's a writer. She's coming into all of these different areas uh, of life. And God's raised her up all the way from Los Angeles. And she's a believer. And you are going to be really blessed. So if you got some kids, young people, teens, or even yourself, and you have a dream that you want to begin to realize, I want you to stay tuned. Make sure you have young people around to watch this because they're going to be inspired on how to live that dream and rise above all of those circumstances. Would you welcome to the program today, all the way from Los Angeles, my friend Gina Harazumi. Welcome. Hi, Pastor Y. Thank you so much for having me here. It's well, so I'm so glad to have you here. And it's <laughs> such a joy to have you on the program today. You know, we got a whole lot to cover, a mm -hmm. whole lot of grounds to go over. And we're going to get started first by just talking a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you're from, and, and then we'll get into the dream aspirations and all these different kinds of things like that. Introduce yourself. Well, my name is Gina Hirazumi. I'm from, born and raised in Los Angeles, California. Um, I'm Japanese American, um, and I'm a Christian. And um, today, I, you know, I just want to share about all the struggles and triumphs that I have to face uh, in Hollywood, particularly. There's a lot, so. <laughs> um, but it, but it's been good. God has been so good to me, and I'm so blessed to have um, accomplished everything I've done and to to have such a strong group of support and Christian friends, that is, you know, and it's, it's, it's been so amazing. I like your introduction. I'm Gina Harazumi, <laughs> and I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm a Christian. It was as though everything it ain't else a lie. doesn't matter. It, what you said, is like, it was like everything else doesn't matter. I'm a Christian. I love that. That is <laughs> so cool uh, to be a believer. Let's, let's get a little bit of background. Mm -hmm. You know, I know personally what you do and as far as your music career and your acting, and you're, you know, acting not only in L.A., but you've done some things in Japan. But since today's program is all about uh, living your dream mm -hmm. and rising above it, what, uh, at what age did you discover this dream and how did you begin pursuing the dream that you have now? Um, I would have to say about 15, 16 in high school. Um, I was in pep squad, I was in theater, I was doing all kinds of stuff. And not always, I, I was not... <laughs> into any of that growing up, I was very academically, um, 
Uh, it, academic was really strong in the household, and also sports. I was a um, basketball player, and I was a point guard. And, point guard? Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So got I gang. still got a little bit, but, you know. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I didn't really um, embrace the side of my creativity until high school, mm -hmm. and then I started getting into it, and I was, like, badgering my mom and dad, like, oh, put me into acting school, and, you know, they were like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, okay, anyway, do your homework. <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, but it started, you know, as I was able to transition and take control of my life and, and uh, you know, found that I found really, really uh, fulfillment and joy wow. into this and that there's nothing wrong with it, wow. you know, uh, that that's when everything started taking off. I was in, you know, I started going to acting school and then my auditions and all that stuff. Um, but it's a serious, it's a serious commitment. <laughs> it's not something that happens overnight. So I don't believe anybody that says, you know, there's overnight stars. There's, that's not. You know, I'm in and out of LA several times a year, speaking mm -hmm. engagements, and you know, we all get together whenever we come out there, and all of our friends, we all go hang out, and it's just a lot right. of fun, a lot of relaxing that we do, and we reminisce, and and we get a chance to share into one another's lives. Um, there are a lot of people who go through many years and never, they have a dream, but they never really even begin to initiate right. that dream. For one, for various reasons, perhaps they don't feel like they have enough education or enough talent or maybe no one to really believe in them. At what point did you have to really begin to say to yourself, this is my dream, I believe in it, I am going to really go for it? I think um, as in every actor, you know, you have to, you don't know, you're, you're unsure about, is this, am I talented enough? Am I pretty enough? Am I thin enough? Am I this, that? There's all kinds of questions, but um, there's just a burning fire inside of me that, you know, I, I knew it was it. I, I know it sounds cliche, but I just knew. <laughs> and I, you know, when you start going on auditions and then, you know, you don't, get things right away after you have to keep persisting and going at it and uh, when you start getting the jobs and you start getting the recognition and the acknowledgement and people telling you wow you know you did an amazing job and you know times when people don't have to say anything but they do give you compliments and praise so um, I think it's, it's a um, accumulation of all that combined I can't say it's just one thing but um, you know, I've been doing this for a while, so. Yeah. Um, you know, everything in Hollywood is kind of based around image consciousness. Sure. And an image, and I've been teaching a message even at my church about casting down imaginations and everything mm -hmm. that exalts itself against the word of God. Mm -hmm. um, since that's an image-driven industry, portrait, look, you're talking about size and you're not pretty enough. Some people go through all these different things. Mm -hmm. 